Welcome everyone, Jeff Gross here. I wanted to talk to you today about results, well, being results oriented and also your last hand of a tournament. It's something that I've noticed a lot. I've noticed in myself in the past, more so because I've been more aware of it recently, is oftentimes being too results oriented and also looking at a last hand. So if we're talking tournament poker, generally your last hand is what you focus on or dwell on. Oh, I lost ace, king, ace, queen all in preflop for 12 blinds, I'm unlucky. Oh, I got it in with uh, tens to jacks, that was a cooler for 20 big blinds each. Well, guess what? Almost always, the last hand of your tournament is not where your tournament is won and lost. Yeah, sure, you may lose in a blind on blind for 25 blinds in a kind of cooler situation. Maybe you, you get set over set. Uh, these type of things happen, but tournament poker, winning the uncontested pots, winning the blind on blind battles, picking up a raise on the button, these all these little things that you may think trivial, that that is where the game is won and lost. Building a stack on the bubble, building a stack with two tables left, three tables left, taking a risk, taking a chance, shoving, open shoving 25 blinds with queen jack in the cutoff because of the other stack sizes and the, you know, the bubble. These are the hands that ultimately will allow you to take coolers. You don't think the best players in the world, the, the absolute super animal crushers, whoever that is to you, the wizard sorcerer, the best you think in the game, they're taking spots. They're creating chips. They're creating their own luck. Luck is when preparation meets opportunity. And guess what? Your last hand that is not, that, that may be lucky or unlucky. You know, your last hand, that's how it works. You run Jack Stace King, it's a flip. You gotta win it. What if you were the one with more chips? What if you were the one that was picking up all the pots along the way that put yourself in a position to take a flip, to lose a flip, to lose a three to one, to lose King Queen suited to Queen Jack when a guy shoves for 14 blinds and you call and you still have 18 blinds behind. You know, and then when you win that pot or you get lucky or you put the pressure on and you win and you cover. So if you look at some of the games best, if you look at what people are doing, you know, there's a difference between blind aggression and uh, thoughtful ranged aggression. So, you know, there's a, my point I want you to really understand here is think about all the times you tell your friend or your backer or your support system, hey, I got so unlucky today, I busted this and that, or oh, what a cooler, I lost aces to kings. Think about that. Think about the other times where there was a tricky spot or blind on blind or you just folded and you had nine, seven offsuit and the guy in the big blind had a lot of chips and you were kind of not sure and you just threw it away. Think about these spots where you could have raised, you could have limped, you could have limp raised, you could have limp called, check raise the flop, you could have uh, set yourself up, you know, found a bluff, found a good fold. Those those times where you hero call, uh, where you don't, where when you when you make a bad call, when you know you're beat, but you just know it. You're like, I this guy could never be bluffing here based on how he plays, and you got a pretty good hand. You're like, I got to see it. I got top pair, pretty good kicker, but I know I'm beat, and you call. Those chips add up. Those things are where your term is won and lost. So I want you to look at a honest look at your game. Think about if you do that and think about, it's okay. You're, listen, losing an unlucky hand or a cooler is not fun, but think about all the other spots and realize that tournament poker comes down to this. Are you finding ways to pick up chips in spots that your opponents aren't? And for the vast majority of players, including myself at times, you know, I'm guilty of, uh, of, of not going, you know, of of passing up some pretty close spots or not studying and looking, oh, I could have, I should have shoved this spot or it's close. So I just want to invite you to be open to that possibility of evaluating your game, being honest with yourself, not being results oriented, not looking at that last hand and taking a deeper dive at your game where you can improve and what you're not doing. And I think you'll see your win rate go up. And I think you'll also uh, take, a, take a good, honest look at your game and realize there's, there's a lot of improvement that can be made because, of course, we all can get better. That's why poker is so fun. It's such a great game. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know what you think. And of, all, of course, I will answer questions on the thread on Card Chat under the Ask Me Anything for Jeff Gross. I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoy. See you soon. Good luck at the table. Some huge series coming up online uh, the next few months. It's going to be a, a wild, wild, wild ride. I can't wait to see you guys there. I'll be streaming on Twitch and of course, WPT Party Poker, 100 million guaranteed. Uh, real, you know, they're giving out tournament champions as well as WPT uh, on the trophy there. So I hope to see you guys at the tables. Please say hello and let me know you're from Cards Chat and I will I'll see you there, guys.